Is the F45 Fitness franchise going to collapse? We've been following this franchise for three or four years now. We've seen its crazy growth, and I'm predicting that it's going to start crashing down. So stay tuned. In our video, we're going to go through an update on F45. It is a publicly traded company. And to see if the franchise you should be exploring or better to be on the sidelines for this franchise opportunity. So first off, F45 franchisees are not making much money. Despite their CFO at the time saying on record, pre-IPO in the filing that they make 30% plus EBITDA from the franchisees we've spoken to, 30% earnings on their F45 studio is way higher than in the reality for the franchisees that we've spoken to. They've expanded so fast, too fast. They're a top 10 growing franchise in the US, if not globally, and they just keep opening up gyms. Oftentimes, gym owners are competing with themselves. I've spoken to franchisees in Canada that have that same issue. There's too many F45s coming up in the same area. We've seen a similar thing happen with Massage Envy's subway restaurants where they're competing with other franchisees in the same system. Also the franchise costs 313,000 to 485,000 to open there. They had the same issue that orange theory had where it used to be 300 K to open up an orange theory. Now it's a million F 45 used to be 150, 200 K to open up an F 45. Now it could be upwards of $485,000. And a lot of that money goes to the franchise or, or the affiliate. So 259,000 to $275,000, you've got to pay to F45 Fitness or their chosen affiliates where they could be getting rebates from before you even open up your gym. So they've already profited off you, the franchisee, before you've already opened up. You've spent over $200,000 of your hard earned money where the franchise wars made a profit on that. And you haven't even had a single dollar from your customers. More on what the CFO Charlie Payne said back before their, their IPO, a typical F45 franchise requires initial investment of approximately 315,000. That was at the time two years back. It says significantly lower than other franchise models, which isn't true actually, maybe for some specific franchise models in their industry, like an Orange Theory or Planet Fitness. In year three operations, franchisees produce an average AUV, averaging a volume of 359,000. An average four wall EBITDA margins in excess of 30%. An average cash on cash returns in excess of 35%. We have not seen that talking to franchisees and from the research that we've done. And then on average, it takes studio approximately six months and 75 members to reach break even. A franchisee is quoted as saying to be profitable, to turn a decent profit per unit, you would need at least a couple hundred members, F45 franchisee. It appears they're, they're squeezing the franchisee. This is a royalty of 7% or $2,500 per month, whichever's higher. You have the brand fund, 2% or $200 per month. And then Daily Mail uh, did, a, did an expose on an F45 and the Australian founder that was bankrupt when he launched F45 years back in Australia. He quit with a $10 million golden handshake just a couple months back, and he's selling off his $14 million beach pad. So again, the F45 founder was officially bankrupt when he launched F45 in Australia in 2012. Adam Gilcrest, the founder was listed on Australia's National Personal Insolvency Index. He was technically banned in 2011 from being a company director for three years, but that didn't stop him from registering F45 as an Australian business in 2013 officially. And since then it's grown at a crazy rate. The fitness business turned kind of into a cult following with celebrities, sports stars, even Mark Wahlberg invested millions of dollars into F45 as it was floated on the New York Stock Exchange last year in 2021. Gilcrest net netted millions of dollars overnight. The share price has plunged though. It went down to, I believe, 79 cents. Now it's trading in the, the low uh, single digits. And one thing I'm concerned with is they have a lot of liabilities. We're talking about $150 million in liabilities outstanding. How do they plan to pay that debt back? You know, they've had great celebrity endorsements, including Mark Wahlberg, who's also an investor, I would track closures. A lot of their gyms 
on Google are temporarily closed and someone writes, hey, it's actually closed. I don't know if they're trying to gain the system, but I would look at the FTD that comes out in 2023, but it's gonna be April, 2023. And I predict that there's gonna be 50 plus closures of F45 gyms in the United States disclosed in the 2023 FTD. But you can check now on Google, looking at F45 and seeing across the United States, those that are temporarily closed and then looking in the comments or calling to see if it's actually closed. And if they're not just gaming the system and not marking it as permanent closure. So F45 fitness franchise, it's in a tough space. A lot of people during the pandemic went virtual with their, their fitness routines. Many did go back to boutique as well as other uh, fitness options. Lots of competition. F45 has a lot of closures that are mounting when you look on, on Google pages. Let's see what 2023 has in store, but it does seem that F45, at least in the United States, has hit the apex and is gonna start collapsing. I just don't know at what rate the system collapse in the US as well as globally. Stay tuned for 2023 and we'll definitely do a follow-up once we get our hands on their FDD that's to be released probably in the April timeframe of 2023. In the interim, let's keep updated on their quarterly earnings and see how the stock is traded on the New York Stock Exchange.